Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to make a baffle surface in open foam, which is making an internal face into a boundary that the the open foam solver recognizes. So let's start by looking at our mesh that we will be using. Uh, this is the geo file. As, in, as explained in previous tutorials, we create the surface loops for two surfaces and extrude them both and then record the groupings we want. So we'll be doing a wind tunnel with a baffle th uh, plate, th uh, thin flat plate. So we, we define the inlet of the wind tunnel, the outlet of the wind tunnel, the tunnel walls, which are the top and bottom faces, and the, the plate, which will be inner surfaces. Um, and of course, front and back, which front and back, which are going to be defined as empty. Uh, for the 2D case, since this is a 2D case. So let's look at the mesh. So you can see that, uh, so this is the tunnel, and this is the two regions I've extruded. This front surface will be our baffle, and will act as a flat plate in the wind stream, in the uh, free stream. So, but let's take a look here at the visibility. So you can see that all the surfaces are recognized recognized, um, including the plate here, so that, that'll be our plate. Um, but since it's an internal face, when you convert it to open foam, open foam won't actually uh, have it set as a boundary, as a, a, a recognized official boundary. However, it will be saved as a face zone, so the creation of a baffle involves converting that face zone into a real boundary. Uh, and this is performed by the Baffles Baffle Dict Baffle Dictionary here. Um, this is you can put it anywhere. Um, you just have to specify this file when you use the command create baffles in OpenFoam, which is a standard OpenFoam utility. So here we take our face zone that we've defined, which is plate, and uh, we we. Sp um, this baffle, create baffles utility creates two new surfaces. It splits that internal face into two surfaces. And here we define both sides, the master and the slave, to be walls. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's get to the actual code. So here are all the files for this tutorial. This case is where, obviously, where the open foam files are, where we, where we can run our simulation. Um, the commands uh, just contain the procedure and commands that I use in this tutorial. This is the Jimesh file. Um, and this is the results of the uh, simulation. Um, it takes a little while to run, so I've run it before and made this video to show you at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so let's start by making our mesh from Gmesh. Uh, now let's use the conversion tool in OpenFoam. And the case is named case, you saw. So here we saw the uh, conversion go well. And now let us use, uh, use the create baffles command. Oh, well, first we have to um, modify the boundary file. Oh, sorry. So that, because fresh off from Gmesh conversion is not totally correct. You just have to modify this boundary file in constant polymesh. So let's do that. You have to specify This is empty. Empty. Uh, for the tunnel, we're not using a wall. We're using what's called a slip condition, which is kind of like a frictionless wall. So we can leave that as a patch. These are patches, the inlet outlet, and the plate must be a wall. OK, um, before, since uh, 
the faces aren't recognized officially in open foam they're internal faces you have to uh, you will be creating new faces with the create baffles so you have to um, count how many faces there are in the mesh already and then start from there as open foam adds adds to the number of faces that are already existing in the mesh so we can do that by going to check mesh oh I'm in the wrong directory just got to get to the root so we can do this by doing check mesh and you can see there's all sorts of quality it's very useful all sorts of quality metrics that's good to check every time you run a simulation but also the number the total number of faces here that number is where you want to start uh, your new baffles so 27 27,519. So if we go to the boundary file, you can see that the plate coincidentally starts from this number because we made it uh, we made it last in the Jamesh. But if you didn't make it last, then you would have to uh, manually specify this number. So now with that we can use our create baffles utility. So this is the command, create baffles, specify the case, which is in our case, just name case, and then the dictionary within that case. And the baffle dictionary I showed you earlier, that's contained in system, and we're gonna use that, and we use this overwrite flag to overwrite the previous mesh. Uh, yeah, so we just have this little warning. Um, it's not, it just, is just telling you the the fields um, the new fields that were created were set to initialize to a value of zero in this case since we're just dealing with the wall that's fine but if, if you were dealing with something else you might have to edit that um, so uh, now the case is ready to run so I'll just do a quick run here and you can see the simulation is running successfully. Now I'll just go ahead and show you the video of the results. So here you can see there, this is a wind tunnel and a flat plate submerged and the flow as you would expect from a flat plate in a wind tunnel. So that's all there is to it to make an internal face into a real boundary condition in open foam. Thanks for watching and happy foaming.